Have you ever wondered how the highs focus images that are far versus those that are near? If you have, stay with me as we try to understand how the eye works in seeing objects that are far and those that are near. Looking at this lady reading this book, pretty close. How does the high work in making sure that you're able to see images that are very close versus seeing images that are very far? It happens through a process called accommodation, where the size of the lens is changed. Let's look deeper at what actually happens. Focusing on a near object, what happens here? It all surrounds the cornea and the size and the shape of the lens. In focusing on near objects, the ciliary muscle right here contracts, causing the circumference to decrease. The suspensory ligament, they will slacken, and as a result, the lens will become bulged or oval, or one might say convex. The bulge oval lens bend the light rays to focus on the retina. So the lens were already being bent by the cornea, but based on the changing of the size of the lens and the lens becoming more convex, it causes the individual to see near objects better as you're seeing someone here looking at the TCP Academy logo. But let's look at what happens if we were to look at a plane that is some distance away. Pay careful attention to the lens here. You'll realize that it has changed. So let's look at that again. Near object, look at the lens. The lens is going to be changing and the lens become bulged. Well, we are looking at distant object. The lens again will change as the ciliary muscle will somewhat change its tension. So we're looking here at an airplane in the distance, far away. The ciliary muscle will relax, causing the circumference to increase. The ciliary muscle will pull the suspensory ligament, as this line right here, it will pull on the suspensory ligament to tighten them. As a result, the lens will become thin, allowing the light to focus on the retina or the image to fall on the retina from the distant object. Now, the thin lens will bend the light ray, but it will do so not as much as would have the bulge or the convex lens would have. As such, we have nice images falling on the retina. Let's pay attention once more to the lens. So here we have a lens very thin seeing the distant object. Here we have a lens looking at a very close object and you're seeing the lens now changing to a bulge or more convex lens, making the light rays bend more to have them focus on the retina. So to see a very close object, like when you're reading, the lens become more convex, thus allowing you to see the image clearly. While when you're seeing a distant object, the lens become Thin, thus allowing some slight bending or refraction of light rays, making the image fall on the retina. I am Mr. Wilson from CSEC Biology TCP. Click on the video to the right to look at image formation, and the video to the left will show you how the light is controlled enters the eye up. Until next time, take good care of yourselves and be reminded to like, share, and subscribe. You want to subscribe as well to our marathon. We are having two months of marathon for biology and human and social biology at a pretty attractive price. Call or email or leave a message on this video and I'll get back to you so we can discuss you being a part of the Biomarathon, HSB Marathon for 2022.